All right, guys, so welcome back to my channel. It's about one o'clock. Tim already had to go to work, unfortunately. Um, but Ella actually ate all of her breakfast today, which that might not be something big to some people, but it was to me. Um, so I gave her one of her blueberry Pop-Tart crisp things. Um, and let me see. Should be right here. Right here. These little Pop-Tart crisps. Um, she ate both of those. And she also ate one of my apple slices. So, that's a big accomplishment. Especially for her as of late. Uh, she just hasn't wanted to eat very much. Um, so as a little treat, I'm giving her, or I gave her a pack of four of her uh, party uh, mini muffins. So she's currently eating those. Um, I am going to get dressed. I have to go meet some people to sell some things. Um, don't worry, we are practicing social distancing. I will, like they will put the money out, like I'll show them the controllers. Tim's selling some Xbox controllers, so I am going to like show them the controllers and then they will like put the money underneath their windshield or something. Um, I'll grab the money and then they will, or I'll put the controllers down and I'll go ahead and go and they can take the controllers. Um, and a lot of people were concerned for my safety the one time I said I was going to meet someone. Thank you, I do always have a knife on me just in case. Um, especially with like higher priced items like Xboxes and stuff. Um, I will always carry a knife. It usually stays in the car unless I feel uncomfortable or it's nighttime or we don't meet somewhere public um but it's always on my passenger seat already opened up underneath my handbag underneath my purse um so if anyone tries to do anything you know i can pull it out real quick and it's already ready to go um so i do do that for my protection and for my daughters um but i usually meet these people at like pretty common places um, I have to meet two people today. One person is going to be at Dollar General up the road. It's a pretty public place. And then the other one's over at Country Fair where there's people just all the time. So, um, I feel safe, but I'm still going to have my knife with me. Um, but yeah, um, I need to get dressed and do that. Um, a lot of people... Not a lot, but a couple of people were asking me if I had already donated this. And I have not, just because five cans of cat food is not a lot to take to a shelter to donate. Um, but, I don't know, does cat food expire? December of 2021. So, I'll probably wait until I get more than just five cans of cat food. Because... I just, I don't know. I feel like I would be getting, like, some weird looks because I'm only donating five cans of cat food. Like, who does that? Um, so I'll probably wait until I have a little bit more stock uh, to take it up to donate it. Um, we'll see. Um, I don't know if... Like, maybe there's some good coupons that I could use and get the stuff for free like I did with those ones. But, yeah, I just want to have some decent stock before I make a run, you know? That makes sense. I really hope that makes sense. Um, I just don't want to be getting weird looks for taking in five cans of cat food. So, um, I will definitely be taking it up when I get more, though. Um, but yeah, I need to get myself dressed and then I need to get her dressed. I have to leave here in about an hour and a half to go meet this girl up at the Dollar General up here. Uh, and then I'm going to do some shopping, uh, some more coupon shopping with the axe and stuff like that. So I'm going to get that all done. And then I don't know what else I'm going to do, but I guess we'll figure it out, huh? You say hi, baby. Say hi, guys. Hi. 
So, this is the new car. Um, and there's just a couple like scuff marks and stuff in the paint. But overall, it's, it's a nice car. Um, you know, it's, it's a pretty nice car. I'm actually enjoying it. Um, <coughs> show you guys the back here, minus the license plate. There we go. So there's, oh, <laughs> whoops. There's the back. Um, there was a bumper sticker on it down here that Tim took off, but it's better than our other one because our green one has this like damage right here on the back wheel well. Uh, it looks worse than what it, or it doesn't look as worse or as bad as it is, but yeah. So this is the new Prius. This one is a 2011. Um, I need to get my own key for it. Uh, right now, I have to use Tim's to use it because your girl don't have a key. Um, and one thing I really like about Priuses is I can leave my keys on or in my purse. Um, this one actually has a flat dash. Whoop, whoop. Um, so Tim's keys, these are his keys. Mine are attached here onto my purse. Um, so this here is the Prius key for this car. And I just need to, let me adjust my seat real quick. But, love cars with push buttons. Um, I need to get used to everything. This is a completely, completely different setup than our green one. Our green one doesn't have like the center dash thing here. Um, everything's like on a screen to like control the temperature and stuff. Uh, the power buttons like right here and where the power button is here is actually where the brake button is on our other one. Um, and our shifter is actually like right here too. So um, it's gonna take some getting used to. Oh crap. We don't have the car seat mirror in here yet. I may switch that over beforehand. Probably not though. Uh, there's something really weird with this mirror. It's like an aftermarket mirror. Uh, it's just, it's, it's really weird. Um, I think we're gonna try to get the one off the green Prius because it's like an auto dim type one and it's bigger and just better uh, so I think we're gonna be doing that but um, I am backing up so I'm going to go ahead and not vlog while I drive because you know hashtag safety first um, <clears throat> but I hate being a bigger girl that's short because I just cannot like my belly is like always right at the steering wheel um, anyways I'm heading up to Walmart I need to grab some pop some water and just some few odds and ends worth of like food wise hopefully they have some stuff for us because we need food so I'm at Dollar General. I met that girl, sold the two or the three controllers. Um, and then I went in because I had more of the Axe coupons. I was going to do it yesterday. Ended up forgetting them at home. So um, I just want to give you guys a quick breakdown of how I did everything. Um, so one transaction came to came to $6.36, I saved $13. So I got two of the Axe Apollo shampoo and 
or nope, this is body wash. So I got two of the Axe Apollo body washes. My nose is like tickled right now. Um, and then I also got these, but I had the dollar off coupon on these, making these completely free. Uh, and the Axe was still the two dollar off uh, when you spend eight or more instant savings, which brought it down to six with a buy one get one free, so minus four brought it to two twelve. Um, and then they were having a sale on the Snuggle Plus or s select Snuggle items. You could get two for eight dollars, um, and there was a four dollar off digital, making these four dollars. So I got this Snuggle Plus Super Fresh um, fabric conditioner. It's got 46 loads in it. And then I also got the all stain lifters free and clear pods with 19 of them in there. So I got all of that for $6.36. Saved $13, I think it was. Hang on, babies. She's getting kind of antsy. Um, she didn't give her nap today, so that's why. Um, so that came to six thirty six. Like I said, I saved thirteen dollars. All the other transactions, I did four transactions in total. The other three came to two dollars and twelve cents, with six dollars savings. So I got two of the Axe Excite body washes. Yeah, that's a body wash. Um, hang on, baby. I'm making it quick. I promise. Okay. So I got two of those. Um, I got two of the Phoenix body washes. And then I got two of the Apollo deodorants. For $6.36 in this bag too. So total out of pocket was $12.72, I think. And I saved $6.12.18. 21 $31 so I call that a win um, I need to get her home and into bed before I have to meet this other guy at five um, so let's go do that oh that was tough I just did my first ever transfer from car seat into the house into her crib without waking her up I'm sorry if you guys can't hear me because of the wind, but I've been close a couple of times uh, to being successful with that transfer. But every time I would put her down after uh, getting her into the house, after I would try to put her into the crib, she would always wake up. Um, I would always leave her there because she needed to go back to bed. But... I was always like so close. Um, never quite successful though. Um, until today, I got her out of the car seat. She kind of woke up, like she opened her eyes to like look and see what was going on. But she like never fully stayed awake, if that makes sense. So I call it a win in my book. Um, I call it getting her successfully in because I even turned on her sound machine, took her shoes and socks off, um, and got her into bed. So, um, I'm leaving my pop in here for now because your girl's got full hands here, but, um, I have about an hour until I have to meet that guy. So I'm probably going to end up getting a sitter to come sit with her for the five minutes that will be over there. But as of right now, I need to get inside and message the guy because Tim's phone got messed up. So he can't message the guy. So I need to get on there and make sure that he's coming. I'm just going to add myself to the group so that I can message him that way. But yeah. All right, guys. So I just wanted to... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wanted to show you guys all of my stuff. There's a lot of couponing stuff in here. Wow. Okay, I didn't really realize there was quite this much until you like look at it, but okay, anyways. <laughs> so, 
a lot of this stuff I've gotten for one dollar a piece or less um, except for these for breezes and the herbal essence shampoo and conditioners so the for breezes I paid three dollars for two so technically a dollar fifty each which is not bad still uh, same with the herbal essence these were like all of the Garnier whole blends were 50 cents a piece. The Garnier Fructis were a dollar a piece. Um, all of these were free and actually had some overage of the Sports Guard deodorant or the Right Guard deodorant. Um, all of the shaving cream, there's four things or three things of the Pure Silk. One of the Barbasol, you can see the green lid back there, um, were 99 cents a piece. All of this toothpaste. And all of this Dove, I didn't pay a single penny for. And then these razors up here, um, all four packs of the Simply Soli, Soleil, however you pronounce it, um, I paid 30 cents for. These were, they were supposed to be $2, but I had so much overage from these that I didn't even pay for these technically. Um, all of the Axe deodorants, there's four of them in here. One, two, three, four. And all four, or all eight of these Axe, the hair and bodies, um, I paid like a dollar a piece for. Um, and then these just don't fit. I'm actually going to put them down underneath my um, sink in the bathroom here, since they're toilet cleaners. Um, they were 50 cents each, so... Everything I did not pay more than a dollar for except for the Febreze's and the Garnier or the um, Herbal Essence shampoo conditioners. So I think that's a pretty good success. Um, I've gotten three, six, let me see, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen things. Well, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I've gotten 20 things just completely free. So, um, I definitely call that a win. Um, and that's not even everything. I am also currently using two of the whole blends and one of the shaving creams. Um, I believe that's all of the stock that I've used. Now I'll show you guys all of my laundry stuff. Okay, washer, like laundry stuff. There's a lot in here. <laughs> There's a lot, you guys. There's a lot of laundry stuff. Anyways, this is all of my washer stuff. This is all stuff that will go into the washer, not the dryer. So, all of these Purex crystals, except for one, I paid um, nothing for. I got them absolutely free with some overage from a coupon. Um, I'm, like, trying to get them to sit in here right, but they're just not... This one back here I paid 99 cents for. All of these Purexes I paid 99 cents for. Except for I think two I paid $1.99 which is not bad. This Tide Simply res or Odor Rescue I paid $1.95 for this I believe. $2 for this. The this Purex and these two back here were also 99 cents a piece. The all was $2. The gain flings, I believe, were $2.95. Um, I got a mid or moonlight breeze and a island fresh one. Um, and then this tide downy, I think, was $2.95. So I got all of this for really cheap. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's like maybe 25 bucks here. That's not bad. I'm um, considering this and that back there. Those were $9 without any kind of coupons. So I essentially only paid for that. Um, the Purex crystals are three bucks a piece. Three, six, 9, 12, 
15, 18 bucks there. So, uh, and then for dryer sheets, I have four boxes of the 34 count Island Fresh dryer sheets. I paid, I think, a dollar a piece for those. So, ow, I just like stabbed myself in the eye. Um, I will call that a win, you know. Um, not a ton of people, well, I'm sure a lot of people do stock up on the laundry stuff. Um, but the main reason I am is mostly, mainly, yes, I am going to use some for myself. I have already started to use these Purex ones. Um, but I also plan to make bundles after all this coronavirus stuff blows over. Um, and I can charge, you know, I could put together four of, or three of the Purex liquids, a thing of pods, thing of the crystals, and sell it for like 25 bucks. Um, 20 bucks, something like that. Um, I will have to do research more on stockpiling and then I can also with the other stuff in the bathroom I could put together a health and beauty type thing you know no. um, I could put in some deodorant toothpaste um, razors the body washes shampoo conditioner like stuff like that I could put in and bundle it together and sell as well so that is my ultimate goal um, I would like to be like a lot of um, couponers and be able to stock up on like toilet paper and stuff but we just don't have a ton of room um, if we ever get out of this house and up into the other house that's right up the hill that we might eventually move into um, it'll be a little easier because I will have the like entire basement at least um, I'm sure one of our cars will go into the basement and I'm sure I think it's a one and a half car garage so there's plenty of room for the one car um, and Tim's one side is gonna be like his work stuff all of his tools and stuff like that um, and so I'll have like at least the one whole half um, and it's a smaller house than this but it's also got the basement I mean we have a basement it's the entire length of our house except for the kitchen and the sunroom which is a good i don't know i don't even know how many feet this is i'm not good with stuff like that but uh the entire basement is there it's it's a nice basement however it floods um every year multiple times a year it floods so i'm not going to be putting stuff down there to store but I need to clean up. Tim is on his way home. I still have a bunch of stuff I need to put away over there. Um, and I've got a few dishes to do. I did most of them earlier, but I still got a few bits and bobs that I've got to do. So I will, I need to get all that done.